Hi everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. Today's video is all about vitamin C. Yes, that big old vitamin C. C? 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 <laughs> Anyways, I've got um, a lot to share with you. If you're interested in hearing what vitamin C can do for you, please stay tuned. All right, well, thank you for staying with me. So first of all, I wanna let you know that I have got a blog post on vitamin C linked below. The blog post basically is going to let you know what vitamin C does for you both internally and externally. Today's video, I'm just gonna concentrate on the external factors such as beauty enhancements and what it can do and how we use vitamin C on a beauty uh, platform. If you're interested in finding out how it benefits us internally and health-wise, please um, go to my blog post. I, I touch base on both. I give you suggestions of different items that you can purchase, and hopefully you think it's a good post. Leave your comments in my blog. Let me know what your thoughts are, and if you have any suggestions, feel free to make comments on this video or on the blog. I'm good with either way. So basically, when you're talking about vitamin C and incorporating it in a beauty regime, there's basically two formulas that you can use. There's the liquid formula and the powder formula. Personally, I prefer the powder. The reason why I prefer powder over the liquid is that the liquid has a very short shelf life. So you're wasting a lot of the product most of the time. Now you can, it, it ranges in price on if you're going to be purchasing liquids, uh, vitamin C from $20 a bottle all the way up to $157 a bottle. In my blog post, I do touch base on various um, companies and the price point just, you know, depending on what you're looking for and the benefits. Pretty much they are very similar in what they do. On a beauty level, vitamin C, what it does, it's an antioxidant. It's an excellent antioxidant. It helps with hyperpigmentation, discoloration, age spots. However, let me tell you right now, disclaimer, it's a slow process. It's not like you're gonna be using this in a month and all of a sudden, wow, look at me, I'm like uh, spot free. No, it's a very gradual, slow process. But within a year, well, no, I shouldn't even say that. Within about six months, I noticed a huge difference. And, you know, especially if you see like a big spot that was discolored and, and then you're using your vitamin C, you will see that it has, it does lift. So, um, the, you can make your own vitamin C in liquid formula. And I do have a recipe on how to create your own vitamin C on my blog post. So please go check that out. But today I'm going to focus on the benefits of the powder. Now, the reason I like powder is that you just use a tiny bit of the powder. You mix it in with your face cream or your face lotion, and then you just apply it topically. You can use it AM or PM and it does, it's not harmful. It helps fight like the sun damage, free radicals. It helps you for future damage. And then there's very, Various formulas that you can purchase. I'm going to start off with my favorite. The favorite one that I absolutely love, it is the, out of the, what I have in my collection, it's the most priciest. It's from Philosophy and it is the Turbo Booster C Powder. This is $37 US or $46 Canadian. It can be purchased on Sephora's website and you get 0.25 ounces. So this is the bottle here. Okay, and it's a white finely milled powder. It blends beautifully in with your uh, face cream. You, it, it just melts into your cream and then you apply it on your face. You don't even know that you've put powder in your product. And once you have it on your face, you can apply, you know, let your moisturizer dry like you normally would and then apply your um, makeup. This absolutely is my favorite. However, the price point is is higher than some people's. It does come with a little spatula, and then all you do is you dip the spatula into the product. It's probably one eighth of um of a like one eighth of a teaspoon, and then you mix it in with your moisturizer, and then you apply it. So that's all you need. Something like this will last you depending on where you're applying the pro your moisturizer. Um, I would say probably about six months. So it's really when you look at it. Uh, the duration that a bottle of this will last you, um, you're getting your money's worth, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. 
The second product that I'm going to share with you is from Skin Cosmetics. Now, um, a few girls here on YouTube have spoken about this product. And um, this you can get at the Skin Cosmetics website or in Canada, the shopping channel um, sells Skin Cosmetics. Now, this again is only 0.5 ounces. And this is just a little baby um, one that I have, but you can get the larger one and they sell the larger one in Canada, which I believe is 0.25 ounces as well. It is um, $22 Canadian on the shopping channel. And I can't remember what it is on the, in the US site. I think it's like $18 or $17 US if you go to the site, their actual site. And this is called Skin Cosmetics. Now I'm going to show you this because I am finished my turbo booster. So the actual powder that I'm sh that's in there right now is not it. It's a different powder, but this is also finely milled. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's the powder right there. So it blends very beautifully and it's, you can't even feel it when it's on your skin. There it is. So it blends so nicely and I have the other powder on my on me here. Let me put it in this hand. So I okay, so there it is. Okay. And I'm going to blend it. And it's also finely melt. So you can't really see you can see a little bit of the residue, but it melts once you put the cream in there, it melts so nicely that you don't even feel it on your skin. So this here will last you quite a bit. I still have quite a bit of this because when I had, I purchased this first and then I fell in love with this and I kept using this product instead of this. So I need to finish this. And then now that one is my second choice. The final choice, and this was a YouTube recommendation, is from the Vitamin Shop. It's the C1000 powder. This is basically the purpose of this um, vitamin C is for absorption, like internal intake. It's an antioxidant. It's good for health, uh, for heart health. It's good for joints, vascular support. And you can mix this powder if you're taking it in, like if you're orally taking it with your smoothies, with some juice, some water. It dissolves very nicely apparently in water. I haven't tried it yet internally but that's what I'm going to end up using this for because I purchased this because I thought, oh my goodness, a big, this is 16, 17 ounces. I paid $20 for 17 ounces. Eight ounces is $9, which I wish I had done that because this is my least favorite product. This is very, very granularly. Uh, it has major granules. It's also a white powder, but it's not finely milled. Uh, I don't even know if you can see that. I don't want to throw it all over my carpet, but I will put a little bit because I have that in this bottle here. Okay, I'm going to show you this. It's the consistency of sugar granules. So that is that right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the granules. When you mix this with um, your moisturizer, it's extremely granule. Like I feel like you've got sugar all over your face. It's not sticky, but it feels like sugar. So, um, <laughs> and it, le it doesn't, it doesn't mix very well with your, with your, um, I'm just putting it on my leg just to get rid of it. It, it does not mix well with your moisturizers, um, whatsoever. And all you feel are little grains of powder all over your face it's horrible <laughs> i really really am upset because i wish i had i wish i liked this and i wish i had purchased the smaller bottle but this is not in my opinion great if you're going to be using this and then going out for the day because you will have little particles all over your face if you're going to be using this in a smoothie or using it to um reap the benefits of vitamin C internally, absolutely, this would be fantastic. And hence, this is what this is going to be for me. I will be using this for oral consumption only. Um, I have a big write-up about it. Go check my blog out so you can get more uh, information on how it benefits you internally. It's good for your hair. It's good for um, cataracts. It's like the vitamin C just is an overall great, great little vitamin. So 
Having said that, I would not recommend this if you're gonna be using it topically, personally. This is my personal experience with the product. Some people here on YouTube use this and they swear by it. I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't agree with that. Um, I just don't like all of that grainy feeling. Now, the other thing is you could mix it in with some water and then it will dissolve the granules and then you, you can put that topically and you can use this to make a liquid vitamin C serum. And the recipe that I have on my blog is you mix the powder with some water and then that will make your liquid um, vitamin C. And you can put a little bit of vegetable glycerin in it just to have it have a little bit more of a slip factor, but you don't need the glycerin. You can just mix this with water and use it as a liquid formula, which I haven't tried yet. And I'm, I, I am going to try that just to see if perhaps that will work better, but just to use it as a regular powder, it's not, uh, it does not blend. It does not dissolve. It keeps its granule form and it doesn't play well with your makeup. So in summation, I think that everybody should incorporate some kind of vitamin C in your regime, both in beauty and in health. And my recommendation out of all the powders that I have experienced would be the Philosophy uh, Booster C Powder. And I know it's more expensive than some of the others. However, if any of you have a suggestion of vitamin C powder that you've used, aside from what I have here, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, it's like I said it's great for lifting discoloration and hyperpigmentation it's great for fighting off sun damage it's not harmful if you go out in the sun and you have this on your face so you know you don't have to worry about that and if any of you are um, in you know have any questions about it let me know again I'm gonna refer you back to my blog to check out um, all the benefits of vitamin C I hope that this helped you somewhat and yeah it was uh, interesting to do this research on this product and like not the products because I'm familiar with the products but vitamin C and everything that I didn't know about it so I hope that I've enlightened enlightened you and um, you know, you'll know more about what the enlightenment will be more when you read my blog because basically I just gave you my review on the products that I use so anyways thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a beautiful day and I hope to see you all in my next video thanks for watching and have a gorgeous day ciao for now